Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel, your home for crypto news and interviews. I have some very bullish news to share with you all. Google has partnered with Back to accept crypto payments. Two powerhouses here, guys. We're talking about Google. I don't think I need to explain who Google or what Google is, but Back, for those of you who don't know, is owned by the Intercontinental Exchange, which owns the New York Stock Exchange. Yes, there's an owner of the New York Stock Exchange. So I'm going to break that down for you. We also have Senator Ted Cruz out of Texas. And all politics aside, this man is calling for Texas to use natural gas energy to mine Bitcoin. Bitcoin mining boom happening in the United States, like I've been telling you guys. Also, Jamie Dimon has a new round of Bitcoin FUD. But I want to tell you why this is bullish those of you who are the crypto OGs who've been here in, since September 2017, remember the statements he made at that point and what happened after. <laughs> so it's a bullish day when Jamie Dimon has to come out and FUD Bitcoin because it means crypto is moving in the right direction. We're also going to talk about Hester Peirce and her statements. Guys, in an op-ed on CNN, crypto is getting mainstream coverage. So I'm going to be interviewing Hester Peirce uh, tomorrow as well. So big stuff to cover today, guys. Before we get to it, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, this video is brought to you by OKCoin Crypto Exchange, where you can buy, sell, and trade your favorite cryptocurrencies and you don't have to pay high fees. OKCoin charges low fees. You can also stake your crypto and keep 100% of the rewards. And it's only, excuse me, it's the only exchange where you can buy Miami coin. So be sure to sign up, link in the description. All right, look at the market here. Looking good. Bitcoin is moving strong over $57,000. Ethereum over $3,500. Cardano at $2.16. XRP at $1.13. So what's happening here? Well, it's like I've been saying, guys, Bitcoin needs to pump. And then we will have alt season. For those of you wondering, well, why isn't all coins pumping? Well, you have to understand the market dynamics. And I know for those of you who are new here, it can be a bit confusing and, and not really follow logic to a certain degree. But once you understand how uh, you know early we are, and Bitcoin is the big hedge, the big bet that a lot of the whales and big players take, and a lot uh, usually the doorway for many people entering the crypto market then all coins follow, right? So usually Bitcoin gets to an overbought scenario. Then we see alts, uh, the money flow into alts, and then they start pumping. Now, you guys know I've been sharing the Bitcoin weekly chart with you for months now, and I have my respected uh, lines drawn here for how I think the market cycles will play out. So far, I've been right. Does that make me Nostradamus? No, I, and I could be wrong. You know, it, it, I'm not saying I'm going to be 100% accurate or right all the time, but just using the market cycles we've seen historically, these are the patterns I've mapped out, highlighting that we are repeating what happened in 2013. Bitcoin is going to double peak. We peaked in May at 60, I think it was 64,000. Then we had a correction. Now we are moving back up, guys. So we see the green candles forming here. I think we could go up to 64 again and then have another pullback. Will it be as bad as the one that took place in June? No, it will be a smaller pullback, but we will be building support levels, higher highs and higher lows. And remember, Bitcoin will top out, the also follow, then Bitcoin will pump again. And I think we could see uh, certainly a six-figure Bitcoin. Fingers crossed for that. You know, it's not a guaranteed, but I do believe there's a high probability. So you always got to think about the markets and investing as probabilities because there, there are no certainties. We can't predict the future. Now, a couple of things here. Daniel Joe on Twitter, who does some great uh, Bitcoin technical analysis, said the following. Bitcoin is now testing major resistance at $57,100. Watch $58,000 and $58,300 closely. I think we, uh, uh, excuse me, I, I'm thinking we'll take multiple attempts to push above $58,000. But once this level is taken out, I expect a quick move to 60 k and higher. So, once again, building support levels, I think, uh, like you said, we have to break through that resistance of 58K and then it's upwards. Now, the other aspect of this that I want to share with you guys is remember what Plan B said with the stock to flow model. He's expecting October to close out at $63,000. 
So once again, we could go up, pull back, make our way up, and then close out at $63,000, $64,000 at the end of the month. And he's predicting at the end of November, we close out at 98000 At the end of December, 135000 So looking great. And we want to use these models, not our emotions. And remember, remember that no model is 100% accurate. So by no means am I saying this is exactly how it's going to happen. These are guides, right, that we can use to uh, show our thesis and what we're thinking could potentially play out. And things are certainly playing out very similarly to what happened in the previous bull run. So here you see for 2013, how Bitcoin's movement in the final run up here in 2017, the final run up. And here we are in 2021 and uh, we have another final run up left. And if we're using the same percentages here, that could take us to a Bitcoin at over $240,000. Now, that doesn't mean it will exactly move up at the same percentage, right? But it could, and it could. there could be some catalyst from the real world. Some, some country collapses, some country adds Bitcoin. I don't know, right? It could be some, some bullish momentum, or it could be something, something bad. Um, I think I remember Chamat Palpatia, who's heavily invested in Bitcoin. He had talked about, you know, he sees Bitcoin doing well, but what is the... The, the environment that would drive Bitcoin to that, you know, and go, go to these prices. It has to be something bad happening in the real world because Bitcoin was built as a hedge against the traditional financial market. So, you know, let's see how things play out. Hopefully nothing catastrophic happens and hopefully it's positive. Countries adopt Bitcoin, we get a Bitcoin ETF approved and it continues to grow, but I'm expecting higher prices in December and it's going to be some, uh, Fireworks, guys. And here's the big news of the day. Google has partnered with BACK to provide Bitcoin payment solutions. And let me give you the details here. Uh, today, BACK, a, a Bitcoin and crypto marketplace and custodian, announced a partnership with Google to extend the reach and usability of digital assets to meet rapidly evolving consumer demand. Now, check the press release headline. I like this. Uh, back partners with Google to introduce digital assets to millions of consumers. Love it, guys. Love it, love it, love it. Let me give you the details uh, here. So Backed, a trusted digital asset marketplace that enables consumers to buy, sell, and send and spend digital assets, today announced a partnership with Google to extend the reach and usability of digital assets to meet rapidly uh, evolving consumer demand and preferences. Back users will be able to add their virtual back Visa debit card uh, into Google Play to purchase everyday goods and services online, in store, or wherever Google Play is accepted. Digital assets such as Bitcoin will be converted to fiat currency for these payments to occur. Additionally, Back has selected Google Cloud as a preferred cloud provider and will market its solutions powered by Google Cloud to leading retailers and merchants in the United States. Back also plans to build new analytics along with artificial intelligence, machine learning, and geolocation functionality on its platform to draw out deep location-aware business insights leveraging Google Cloud's industry-leading tools. These insights will provide back consumers with expanded loyalty redemption options while providing back partners with valuable consumer behavior pat patterns powered by Google Cloud infrastructure. Uh, here's a quote from the CEO. This partnership is a testament to back's strong position in the digital asset marketplace to empower consumers to enjoy their digital assets in a real-time, secure, reliable manner, said Gavin Michael, back CEO. Uh, wow, guys, this is so bullish. The fact that Google is participating in this. And now I've talked about Google over the years of what we could potentially see from them. One, they could add Bitcoin to their balance sheet, same way Tesla did. Two, they are most likely developing their own cryptocurrency and, uh, you know, not to necessarily compete with Bitcoin, but to work within their ecosystem. Now, some people get scared of this and like, oh, no, what if people, you know, they're going to use this coin over that coin? No, there's going to be multiple blockchains, multiple coins, and interoperability between all these coins. And remember, that's going to be a centralized coin, right? And I've talked about Amazon doing the same thing. Now, in addition, Google can start accepting 
crypto payments. And you see here with their partnership with back, back users will be able to, to do that. So Google is certainly gonna open this up even further. And like I said, Amazon is not gonna sit on their laurels here and watch Google do this. All these companies are gonna accept crypto and most likely will issue their own. And like I said, put Bitcoin in their balance sheet. So there's a lot of opportunities here. And the fact that Google is doing this is a big vote of confidence. Now, remember who backed is, guys. You go to their website, check this out. Backed by Intercontinental Exchange, owner of the New York Stock Exchange. When I first heard of the, the New York Stock Exchange had a holder, uh, excuse me, an owner, I was like, wow, that is crazy, right? Just because you think about how big it is and, and how powerful it is and the amount of money and such a massive institution. And then they decided to go start a cryptocurrency company of BAC. Now, I've covered BAC for years, years, going back to 2018. Uh, we've talked about the launch, but they had some hiccups and had to do with, uh, boy, I forgot her name, but she was the wife of the owner of the Intercontinental Exchange, and she was running for politics. So there was a lot of politics involved. So I think back, they pumped the brakes a bit because it was going to be bad PR for them. But I think now that that has passed and, and it's you know out of sight, out of mind for a lot of people, they are now ramping up. This is a big partnership, guys, big on-ramp and off-ramp here. And I hope you see what's happening. All of these 800-pound gorilla companies are joining forces here and partnering around crypto. This is truly uh, unprecedented. And I think we're going to see more and more of this, guys. Uh, maybe the, the more of these news items will come out in uh, this quarter, Q4. And that's what's going to help drive the price higher. So very bullish news. Now, check this out. We continue to see adoption of Bitcoin and crypto. Professional soccer player here, Alex uh, Crognail. I personally don't know who he is. He, many of you guys probably do, but he's going to get paid in uh, Bitcoin. So we're seeing more athletes, NBA, NFL, they're all getting paid in crypto. That, once again, another sign of adoption. And here's some bullish news. And this is, by the way, not a political statement. I'm not endorsing uh, Ted Cruz. I'm not, I'm not, neither am I saying he's a bad politician, whatever. This is not politics. This is just what he's offering up here. Ted Cruz says um, Texas should use wasted natural gas to mine Bitcoin. <laughs> Guys, uh, like I said in my video about the Bitcoin mining boom happening in the United States, uh, you have a lot of states that are in deficits, they need money. And uh, also you have a lot of energy companies that need money to be profitable. Guess what they're going to do? Mine the hell out of Bitcoin. And we see uh, Bitcoin is uh, growing in, in value. So the incentive is there. What other proof do you need? Uh, and, and I say this to the naysayers and the people who may be listening to this. And I hope you share this video with some naysayers, guys, so they can see factually in front of their eyes what is happening because this is not my opinion or something i dreamed up or wishful thinking i'm reporting the facts here so very bullish guys um now jamie diamond <laughs> back at it again he said bitcoin in a recent interview bitcoin is worthless and the government regulation is coming for cryptocurrencies <laughs> He does. It's like every month he's flip-flopping. But as always, watch what they do, not what they say. Despite what this man is saying right now, JP Morgan, what did they do this year? Launch a Bitcoin wealth fund for wealthy clients. Two, they are offering crypto financial, excuse me, financial services to crypto exchanges like Coinbase and Gemini. Three, they have built their own crypto, JPM coin. This, why, this is why you don't read headlines. You don't just listen to uh, you know, these, these clips of Jamie Dimon saying this. No, no, you got to go do your own research, investigate, and see what's happening. Remember, all the billionaire hedge fund managers are jumping in. And Jamie Dimon did say his clients are asking for it. Uh, but like I said in my videos before, in his heart of hearts, I think he hates Bitcoin, but he's he wants to make money off of it. I'm sure he's going long or short regardless, and he's going to uh, you know, capitulate to his clients and, and, and provide that service to them. Now, the timing of this is interesting because here's a flashback here. 
Bitcoin is a fraud worse than tulip bubble, says JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon. This statement was from September 13th, 2017. I was here for that. And I remember people were getting fearful because, you know, we hadn't, uh, a lot of people were new to the market, including myself. I was just here about a year. And Bitcoin proceeded to pump like crazy and go bananas despite this. So the fact that we are in this bull market trend here, go, about to break out upwards in all time highs, and he's coming with this same old FUD. <laughs> I think this is a bullish thing. It's, it's now flipped that anytime he comes out and says something bad about Bitcoin or crypto, it's a bullish thing, <laughs> right? It's a bullish catalyst to, to drive the market because remember, Bitcoin was built as a hedge against the likes of Jamie Dimon and JP Morgan, the traditional financial world, right? And he can call it a fraud and a scam, but you go look at all the fines JP Morgan and all these banks get for um, money laundering and all, all kinds of stuff, cocaine being shipped and drugs on their ships and all kinds of stuff, right? But you know th that that's not going to be pushed in your face because they, they don't want you to pay attention to that. Um, they want you, they want to keep getting away with stuff like that, but you know, They'll, they'll highlight and go crazy over Bitcoin and crypto because it's disrupting them. All right. Uh, here's something Ryan Selkis shared, which I thought was interesting. Uh, all the, the respective uh, negative statements on Jamie Dimon across the years, but yet Bitcoin keeps going up. 2014, terrible store of value. 2015, will not survive, will be stopped. 2016, going nowhere. 2017, a fraud. 2018, don't really give a shit. Uh, 2019, JPM coin launch. Uh, 2020, not my cup of tea. 2021, I have no interest in it. Fool's gold, worthless. But all the while, Bitcoin doesn't care. It just keeps going up. And obviously, Bitcoin here is, is, is the benchmark we're using for the entire market because the market follows Bitcoin. So the entire crypto market has been growing. Uh, so once again, don't watch what they say. Watch what they do. Now, Barry Silbert tweeted something very interesting here, guys. Very interesting. Uh, he says, Jamie Dimon really does not want DCG's IPO. DCG is Digital Currency Group, which owns Grayscale, which owns uh, the, the mining company. Um, boy, I forgot their name at the top of my head, but they're a powerhouse, right? We know about their, their respective uh, uh, different crypto companies, obviously Grayscale being the leader there with multiple crypto trusts, lots of money under, uh, billions of, of assets under management. They're talking about doing an IPO. And if, it's funny, he kind of alluded to what we've been talking about with Gensler and Elizabeth Warren. These uh, traditional banks see the disruption happening. They don't want this. They don't want Coinbase doing an IPO. They don't want... DCG doing an IPO, Ripple doing an IPO. And I do believe, like I've said many times, Genser uh, being a puppet, being controlled by the bankster cartel, like Goldman Sachs and these Jamie Dimon and these guys, they don't want crypto to do well. Um, so they would try to fight it. And, and look, a big way of them fighting it is paying off politicians, lobbying and so forth. You know, we've talked about this, guys, but there's a lot to read between the lines here with what Barry just tweeted but also bullish that they're looking to do an IPO. Now, Jack Dorsey, Bitcoin bull, founder of uh, Twitter, of course, CEO of Square. He said, I personally think that Jamie Dimon is worth more to Bitcoin. <laughs> like I said, the, the more this man floods Bitcoin, that, it's like a bullish indicator. <laughs> so uh, I think everybody's recognizing that. Now, speaking of crypto regulations, Hester Peirce will be interviewing tomorrow, commissioner of the SEC. Guys, check this out. She she did an op-ed on CNN. And once again, I'm not endorsing CNN. I'm just giving you the facts of the exposure. She could do this on Fox and wherever. But the fact is mainstream coverage, right? Putting pressure on Genser and the SEC and in Congress to do the right thing. So here's the title, SEC Commissioner. Investors have the right to make their own decisions without regulators standing in the way. But we know, you know, the, the, the game that's played here, guys, is they don't want you to win. Um, and I'm not saying that as a conspiracy theorist or, you know, because I'm anti-government or anything like that. No, I, I respect government officials. I respect the Constitution. I believe in the Constitution. But the problem is we have to call out corruption. We have to call out when government officials are not working in our benefits. They're, they're there to, to, to work for us, right? But often we see they're corrupt, they're bought off, 
And I, like I said, Genser's being controlled by the bankster cartel, his puppet masters, right? And uh, he is certainly on the side of the banks and the incumbents where they don't want you to go earn yield on crypto. They don't want you to take your money out of JP Morgan Chase Bank, right? And go put it in Bitcoin or a BlockFi account and earn. They, guys, are you kidding me? They hate that. That's money out of their pockets, right? So I'm glad Hester Peirce, known as Crypto Mom, is doing the right thing here. She's certainly a brave woman, my goodness, because she's going against her boss publicly. She's making all these statements and obviously against her saying the opposite of what she's saying. So, wow. Uh, so much respect for her. Um, and, and she's such a smart person and she's put out some comprehensive regulations like the safe harbor, but we need, we need to get those things passed. Finally, guys, uh, Swiss Tink Thank uh, initiates a vote to add Bitcoin in federal constitution. The global movement of adoption of Bitcoin and crypto is, is just continues. So successful or not, the vote will bring crypto education to people who are not yet Bitcoin savvy. 2B4CH founder said, wow, Tubak, if I'm saying that right, uh, that's, that's an interesting name there. But nevertheless, uh, they are pushing for more initiatives around crypto. Guys, all of these things make me so bullish. And, and like I've said many times, the price will follow this news. Guys, what do you think? I want to hear what you think about this Google News. I think this is massive, especially it's backed. And, and, and the fact that Google gave the vote of confidence to do this, um, it's just amazing. And I think there's going to be more. They have more up their sleeve. I, I think there's going to be some big announcements around Google. Once again, either their own coin, accepting cryptos directly, um, adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet. You know, there, there, there's a lot here. So don't be surprised if they even launch their own crypto exchange or NFT marketplace. The, there's money to be made here and they're not going to sit by. You can imagine their, their R&D teams are looking into all of these things, right? So leave your thoughts and comments below. Share this video with a crypto skeptic. Hit the thumbs up button and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you.